This morning, we are comparing organic prices in Denver metro area grocery stores. It's been about a month now since Amazon purchased Whole Foods and uh, dropped its uh, cost on products. Denver 7's Mike Iliopoulos shows us where its prices rank now. More people are trying to live a healthier lifestyle. Like celery and apples, I try to do organic. Um, it's like very water-based. Try to do the organics, but sometimes we go with what's on sale. And that comes with a price. If I'm buying organic, I have, I know it's expensive. So I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. King Supers, Safeway, and even Target are all in the organic foods game. Now that Whole Foods dropped its prices, local grocery analyst Eva Fry says the market has gotten a little more competitive. I think it's one of the fastest growing categories in the grocery space. And so uh, everybody wants to compete for that organic customer and for those organic dollars. But how much of a difference did Whole Foods' price drop make? Fry compared the prices on 26 organic items at Whole Foods, Natural Grocers, Safeway Sprouts, Target, and King Supers. Everything from fruits and vegetables to cereal, lunch meat, milk and eggs. King Supers was the cheapest with a total of $84. Whole Foods, still the highest at $97. We compared um, all of those prices that decreased, um, that we were able to compare anyways across traditional grocers, and um, Whole Foods is still about 15% higher than traditional grocers. Fry thinks Whole Foods may drop its prices yet again. I think that Whole Foods will be able to have a lot more buying power with the manufacturers, and so they will be able to drop prices even further, and so traditional retailers will have to be ready to respond. In Denver, Mike Iliopoulos, Denver 7. So to see the whole list of grocery items that we compared, just head over to our free Denver 7 app and click on this story.